Apple has recently talked about some of the official features that we will be seeing in iOS 16 and watchOS 9. They previewed some of the accessibility features that in my opinion look very interesting to me and will be useful for a lot of users. So let's talk about them. First feature is door detection. This feature will allow your iPhone to send you an alert if you are approaching a door. This feature will provide a digital ability to all iPhone users to detect a door and avoid bumping into it. The second feature that is coming to iOS 16 is FaceTime caption. This feature will let you understand what a person is saying so that even if you're hard of hearing, you don't feel left out in an interesting individual or group FaceTime call. Apple has also been working on books application in order to provide more control to people who love reading books on their iPhone. So yeah, users will be able to read books with more visibility and comfort. And I personally think that this feature will also be available on iPad as well. One of the very interesting and most requested feature of iOS 16 is related to Siri. If you notice, whenever Siri pops up, it takes up a lot of space of your screen. Although after iOS 14, Siri does not blur the background. But even till this date, any application that is opened in the background is still not usable if Siri pops up. Well, this is going to change with iOS 16. In iOS 16, users will be able to use the background application even if Siri menu is popped up on their screens. Next pretty cool feature of iOS 16 is ability to record any sound. Now don't get me wrong, we do get a pretty cool sound recorder in iOS already. But this is something different. This feature will let you record any sound. Let it be fire alarm sound, let it be sound of any appliance and whenever your iPhone will detect detect that particular sound, it will alert you via a prompt. So to summarize, we can say that this feature will alert you about any alert around you. You get the joke? No? Bad joke? Okay. And last but definitely not the least feature, Apple mentioned about screen mirroring Apple Watch display on our iPhone. So you can think of it as screen mirroring, but instead of mirroring our iPhones to Apple TV or maybe some other TV, you can say that we are mirroring our Apple Watch display to our iPhones. How cool is that? This feature will let us interact with our Apple Watch in a totally new way because it will be mirrored on a bigger display. And I believe that a lot of viewers will be loving this feature. Since these features are coming directly from Apple's newsroom page, so I believe it is safe to say that these features will be dropping in latest iOS 16 along with watchOS 9. Other than these accessibility features, there are other various changes that are coming to iOS 16 as well, such as interactive widgets, always on display, major redesigned icons and whatnot. But these features are still rumored and Apple hasn't confirmed any feature yet other than the accessibility features that I just talked about. So yeah, I believe that WWDC 2020 will be interesting. In this upcoming event, Apple will be announcing latest version of iOS, iPadOS, macOS, watchOS and tvOS and it will be held on June 6, 2022. So do let me know what do you think about these softwares and the features that I just talked about. If you liked what you watched, then make sure you hit the like button and subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates from iGeeks blog. Also, if you want to stay updated with everything Apple, then make sure you download the iGeeks blog app from App Store. My name is Yash and I'll see you in the next one. Oh,